Hey everyone, so for today's video I thought I would do a part 2 to the differences between the USA and New Zealand video that I did. And so these differences are things that I personally came across when I was living in the States and they might not be the same in your part of America or your part of New Zealand but they are the differences that I found in my everyday life in both countries. So one of the first things is how in New Zealand we call knives and forks and spoons cutlery and in America they call it utensils or silverware. So whenever I would mention cutlery in America they were always confused and I mean they'd heard people use cutlery before but to them that's a really like fancy way to say it so they would say can you please get the utensils and to me that is so weird when I picture utensils I picture like barbecue tools like drawing utensils or like painting utensils I definitely don't picture cutlery and so that was a really weird difference that I noticed like straight away. Another one is kumara versus sweet potato. So I grew up my whole life not knowing that kumara was the same as a sweet potato. I always thought they were completely different things and I got to America and my host family loves sweet potato and I was like oh I don't think I've ever tried sweet potato but I had because it's the same as kumara. Kumara and sweet potato are the same thing and it took me 18 years of my life to realize that bell pepper. So in New Zealand we call them capsicums. I had a friend come to New Zealand and um, I was hanging out with her for a couple days and so we went out to get pizza and she was reading the list of the ingredients that were on the pizza and she asked me what capsicum was and I told her that it was bell peppers and <laughs> she told me that she had been avoiding capsicums on anything she thought it was some kind of like fish or something. She didn't realize that it was actually just bell peppers and it was like the funniest moment of my life. Another one along the lines of <laughs> potatoes is mashed potato versus mashed potatoes with an S. So I'm pretty sure in New Zealand we say mashed potato, we don't say mashed potatoes or at least everyone that I know says mashed potato without an S. And this one sparked a hot debate because <laughs> for some reason my friends in America were so adamant that it should be mashed potatoes with an S because you're mashing multiple potatoes and I was so sure that it should be mashed potato because it's one blob of potato. I don't know. You can decide for yourself because we never came to an agreement on that one. So yeah. Candy floss and cotton candy. We call it candy floss in New Zealand. I'm not even sure why we don't call anything candy. Why would we suddenly call this candy floss? It should be like lolly floss or something. I don't know. We call it candy floss. Americans call it cotton candy. Cotton candy makes more sense because it's like spun cotton. Candy floss <laughs> just makes me think of dental floss, and I know that's what all my American friends thought as well. But I just like I can't not call it candy floss. It's what I grew up with. It's just it's got to be candy floss. Something that I never noticed and would never have noticed had it not been pointed out to me is that in New Zealand, um, if someone like makes us food or like we enjoy what we're eating, we'll say that it tastes nice. And to Americans, that's super weird because. They use nice as a way to like describe a personality, like that person's really nice, but they would never say that food's really nice because it doesn't have a personality, which I mean I can understand, but also I can't I can't stop saying it. I just have always said that <laughs> the food tastes really nice. Another one that's good is caravan versus trailer. So in America, I'm sure you know they call them trailer parks and like trailers. I think caravan sounds so much cuter. Maybe that's because in American like TV shows and movies and stuff, the trailer parks are always like they have a negative connotation. But caravans don't. <laughs> so it's like caravans have like a really cute like you can have a caravan on the beach just going camping in your caravan. But I don't know, trailer just doesn't sound as cute. Another one that um, New Zealanders will know is singlet versus tank top and when I first talked about a singlet to Americans they were so confused. It doesn't make any sense. I don't even know why it's called a singlet and there's no way of figuring out what we're talking about when we say singlet and like the word singlet isn't a describing word for itself like tank top it's like a top but singlet it could be anything. Most people say tank top I think. Something that we do in New Zealand is shorten a lot of names of like fast food things. So we would say Macca's instead of McDonald's, BK instead of Burger King, K Fry instead of KFC, 
and like servo instead of service station, petrol station, gas station, we say petrol station, Americans say gas station, or we say servo. Something that I thought was so weird and unnecessary is how in America the toilet bowls are like filled almost to the top with water. In New Zealand our toilet bowls have like that much water in them, I don't know, like just enough, because then you flush it and water comes down the sides, you don't need to have the whole bowl filled with water, I, I just don't understand why, I feel like it's such a waste of water to have the whole toilet bowl filled, I just don't get why it needs to have so much water, I just don't understand. Another thing that we New Zealanders do is we refer to an entire parking lot as a car park. But we also refer to a single parking space as a car park. So you've got a car park in a car park. But it makes sense to us in the context, I suppose. And that's what I've grown up saying and that's what I will continue to say the rest of my life even though it doesn't really make sense. In New Zealand we say mince instead of ground beef and this brought up a lot of confusion because it was thought that I was saying mince, like breath mince, but I was actually saying mince meat as in a meat pie, and I can understand why they call it ground beef instead of mince because mince and mince sound exactly the same as I say them, I can't make them sound different. So these next ones are just basically words that are different or pronunciations that are different, so I thought I would do like a side-by-side -side New Zealand versus American way of saying them and the different words. Jersey, sweater, cupboard, cabinet, kitchen bench, counter, a punnet of strawberries, a basket of strawberries, chickpeas, garbanzo beans, plaster, band-aid, jelly, jello, jam, jelly, tap, faucet, cue, lining up, petrol, gas, rubbish, trash, ice block, popsicle, wardrobe, closet, dressing gown, robe, the boot of your car, the trunk of your car, rubber, an eraser, anti-clockwise, counterclockwise, flyover, overpass, garden, yard, windscreen, windshield, footpath, sidewalk, number plate, license plate. So the next two things I have, I think might have been in my last video, but they are like the most iconic things that people think of when they think of like the differences in accent or words. And these are deck versus deck, like your patio, where you would like sit outside to like eat lunch or something. This one, all my friends thought was so hilarious. Whenever we would play cards, they would always get me to read out the instructions so that they could laugh whenever I said to shuffle the deck. And they just thought it was the funniest thing in the world. They were just waiting for words and that they could laugh at, which is basically a story of my life when I was in America. People just trying to copy my accent for words that they thought was funny. And another great one is togs versus swimsuit. And if you're in New Zealand, you know the iconic ad. Skin tight swimming togs, an item of clothing you'd happily wear in public but not in public. So how far is too far? Let's begin. Togs, 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 undies, 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 undies. And if you're not from New Zealand, then there you are, you've just been introduced to one of the best adverts that New Zealand has. And this one is quite funny, I had to actually train myself to start saying swimsuit instead, because whenever I would say togs, it just didn't make any sense because togs doesn't sound anything like swimsuit so I can see why there was a lot of confusion but yeah so that's a funny one as well yeah I think that is all of the differences that I came up with for this video there are so many that maybe there might be a video number three of this who knows but anyway thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe for more videos if you have any video ideas be sure to leave them in a comment down below and also make sure to follow me on my social medias. My Snapchat and my Instagram are both Deanna Haley. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.